I will find a hotel for free. They are like a massive public swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Lumpa. We've literally just arrived here. We're going straight out to see what we can see. It looks like there's hundreds to do here, so yeah, let's go see what we can get up to. First up, Chinatown. There's not a lot going on in Chinatown at all. It's more people selling bags and t-shirts and sunglasses and stuff. There's not a lot like food stuff or actual yeah. nothing really. It's pretty calm, so I think we're just going to go out to the next place and see what's next. Okay, small or large? Large. Large. Okay, ice? Yes, please. Okay. I should go clean juice, we have it all the time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye bye. Right. Let's see how this one is. Pretty good. Really good. It's so tasty. You can tell it's so unhealthy, but who cares? I am really, really not acclimatising to this Malaysian heat at all. <laughs> it is so hot. How are you getting on? I'm pretty sweaty, but I've been drinking this, so... I know. Oh, <laughs> it's just... No, way, no escape at all. We're going to make our way over to the Petronas Twin Towers now. You a bit hot? Hot. <laughs> wet. Soaking. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Disgusting, isn't it? We've noticed there's so much rain all around the city. Like, look at all that behind us. So nice, isn't so it? nice. All through the entire city centre, there's all these kind of... Little kind of woodland park things with like loads of trees. And it's like a little place for people to come and like chill out during the day. It's such a cool idea. Oh, we only started this week. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. I started like a few months ago. And also I did uh, Bali also. It's oh. Indonesia. But in Bali it's more, it was more about like uh, you know, content uh, TikTok. You know, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. interviewed some, uh, you know, the digital yes. nomad. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Just like little chill out zones like everywhere. It's really cool. <laughs> We made it to the park outside the Twin Towers. It's honestly insane. It's such it's got such a good buzz around it, um, and it's amazing that it's like right in the centre of the city. Now in this lake here at night, there's like a big multicoloured fountain thing, there's like water jets and stuff so our plan is to actually be back here when it's dark this evening um, and see the towers lit up and see what this looks like so it's kind of cool to see it day and night. Something that's even cooler about here is like it's lunchtime right now and this place is just full of people who look like they're at work just enjoying their lunch break in the park which is so cool for a major city because I haven't seen this in anywhere else I've visited yet so it's really cool. There's also um, a running track uh, right through this park, it's like the spongy material, it's pretty cool. How nice would this be in the morning to like wake up and just go for a run because look, with all that in the background you can just see like all the buildings right here, it's oh. such a nice view. We've just found another amazing feature. Sea water. That is so good. Okay, this has to be the coolest thing I've ever seen anywhere I've ever been. They have like a massive public swimming pool. Right in the city centre. That is just amazing. Can you imagine this in like Joy Square or something? It'd be so weird, but here it just looks cool. Everyone's down enjoying it. Why not? Pretty amazing here. There's just so many bits for you, people to like chill out and hang out here like right in the middle of the city centre that just other places just don't have it's really cool i love it even the size of this play park yeah look at that it's just there's something for everyone i mean i actually kind of almost feel like i'm walking through a holiday resort right now we're now literally lost in this park we have no idea like how we get out of here <laughs> just aim for the towers it's such a maze it's so big you can tell like they really cared about giving the people here somewhere to like hang out and then in turn they actually respect and look after it by keeping it clean because there's no graffiti, there's no litter here, nothing's broken, everything's really well kept, so they really look after their stuff. There's also um, free toilets. Which yeah, nowhere else has. Anywhere have. And they're clean. <laughs> oh my god. That's us walk down all the park now. We're going to go inside the mall, which is connected to the towers, and see if we can get up the top. Oh my god! Oh, 
my god, this guy and Andrew's here. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go? Yes. All the same. They've got veggie stuff, but it's a bit different, but that was good. <laughs> We made it around the front of the towers. That's insane. They are huge. Like the highest um, twin towers in the world. Let's go see if we can get inside. Oh well. We'll come back another day though. I'm good, how are you? Where are you from? Scotland. Scotland. What's your name? Alan. Alan. Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, you do channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can I see? Yeah, of course. I will, I will subscribe and I will tell the to subscribe also. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's have a selfie, okay? Yeah. yeah. Where, Where are you from? I'm from Nepal. What's yeah. your name? My name is Rasumani. Nice to meet have you. Have you ever been to Nepal? No. no. Still not. Not Please yet. Please do visit Nepal. Will. Yeah. Okay, I will give you my card. When you, are, when you plan to come to Nepal, please let me know. Really? 100%. Yeah. I will be there to assist you. Yes, perfect. Okay. And I will find a hotel for free. You please take this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so I'll much. I will be much happy brother. Yes. We welcome you in thank Nepal. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. That's exciting. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. Scotland. We have some Sam water as well. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Half to. Am I good? Wow. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Like actual curry inside it. <laughs> So we're at the point where the two rivers meet and it's just here. So one flows in from this direction and the other from over here. Um, my grandpa told me to come and see this and I'm glad he did because we wouldn't have came here or known about it otherwise. This is what it looks like at night when it gets really dark. This is so cool. Wow. I love how they put the lights on it as well. I know, it's like, kind of creates like a weird mood, doesn't it? That is so amazing. Wow. That is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Wow, I'm well impressed by that. That is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Well, we're going to go um, to Jalan Alor now, which is the street food uh, market in Kuala Lumpur. It's one of the main ones, so let's see how it is. Okay, so we made it to Jalan Alor. So we're going to just walk up and see what there is. We don't plan on eating here, but um, who knows? We can eat everywhere we go, so. <laughs> So it's actually a mix of street food and restaurants here. I'd say there's probably more restaurants, but you can definitely pick up some street food while you're here.
Yeah, yeah that was Shaolin Allure. There's literally like at least a hundred different places to eat on there. Vietnamese food, Chinese, Thai, uh, Malaysian. So there's literally everything there. But we're off to the pavilion now um, to see all the Christmas decorations. It looks really nice in picture, so let's see if it lives up to it. Busy. It's genuinely like New York with like all the big screens, and it's just so busy. They have a Jody Sports up there as well. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best decorations we've seen in Asia so far. There's just like stuff everywhere. That is so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, almost at the end there, we just go back to see the towers and the fountains that lit up at night and then... See, isn't it? God, man, that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. Let's get further back, come on. Is that not the most amazing thing you've ever yeah, seen? Yeah, it's insane, there's white light on it. We made it back to the park where we started off today and it is so amazing, it's just so busy, people just chilling here, like after work. And there's a cool light show on. <laughs> finish this up here. I think we've done like 36,000 steps today. This is 100% my favourite place yet. An unbelievable place. I mean look at this at night. It's just like a big public park. It's just pretty incredible. Yeah, I love this city. It's probably one of my favourite cities I've ever been to. We've only been here one day so we've only like scratched the surface so personally see what else we get up to but yeah bye. <laughs>